Open the door. Can. Seals deflated, pins retracted, door coming open. Training and testing is leading to recent progress removing highly contaminated soil away from the Columbia River. That soil is beneath the 324 building's B cell, a former processing cell, inside the building that's 300 yards away from the Columbia River. Removing the soil is necessary before the building can be demolished. Crews with Department of Energy contractor CH2M just entered the building's airlock for the first time in about 15 years to eventually begin cleaning out the airlock. Before the initial airlock entry, crews practiced dressing and undressing in multiple layers of personal protective equipment. The market was is really helping us to uh, uh, learn the steps, figure out what we need to do first uh, to get somebody in there and get them back out safely. Cleaning out the airlock and adjoining hot cells is necessary to install remote operated equipment that will remove the B-cell floor and highly radioactive soil beneath and package it for dispositioning. The soil is so contaminated it's too dangerous for workers to dig out, so they will use remote operated technology including a large saw. The large remote controlled saw will cut through the floor of B-cell. It's a prototype saw used to cut a steel reinforced concrete pad that was built to replicate the floor of B-cell. So far the testing has gone well. This strategy, testing in a safe environment, is key to ensuring that equipment works as designed once it is deployed in a hazardous, highly radioactive environment. And so if there was a problem that we didn't identify until we got it in the cell, we've essentially contaminated a piece of equipment and spent a lot of uh, additional exposure to the personnel to get it in and out. And so that's why we need to be very confident that when it goes in the cell, it's going to do its full job and, and we don't have any questions to resolve. In the months ahead, airlock cleanout will progress, as will mock-up development, as the actual remote operated equipment is installed in a structure where crews can train on it and make sure it works as designed. The mock-up does give us as real as we can get. We obviously can't create our hot zones out here, but it gives us a lot of the structure. It gives us a lot of the boundaries and barriers that the real environment would present. That's safer for employees and reduces overall project risk, leading to a more successful outcome.